So I know I'm pretty late to the Link Reigns Pack 2 party and all the discussions and everything, but the rest of this week will be focused on Link Reigns Pack, so I hope you enjoy that. If you don't want to see that though, comment down below and I can change that up, but my plan is for the rest of this week I'll be covering some of the new cards confirmed for Link Reigns Pack 2. So in today's video, I'm going to start with probably the most exciting Link monster, at least for me, that being Cyphering Lord Lamba. And the fact is, this one Link monster completely completely changes everything about the archetype and how you play it. So let's start with its stats. It's a Link 2 Light Psychic Link Effect monster with 1700 attack, its Link arrows are bottom left and bottom right, it requires two non-token monsters, and it has the following effect. You can use the second effect with this card's name only once per turn. Effect 1, you can also activate Cyframe Gear monster effects in your hand while you control a monster. And Effect 2, if another face-up psychic monster you control is banished while this card is in a monster zone, you can activate this effect. During this turn's end phase, add one Cyframe card from your deck to your hand. So I just want to start with the second effect because obviously the big deal is its first effect. I should at least cover their second effect first before I get into the big one. So this card gets you recurring resources. Every time you summon a Psyframe, you can Synchro, you can obviously banish with Omega Effect or Zeta Effect, and that'll get you a, a recurring resource at the end phase, and I think that's highly underrated and actually very good. Even though it's not an immediate search, if it was an immediate search, this card would be even better, but at the same time, it's still not a bad thing. You want to have access to those Psyframe cards at any point, and you need resources in this deck, so having the ability to to add one during your end phase and get more resources is pretty good. But obviously the main thing is its first effect. You can also activate Cyframe Gear monster effects in your hand while you control a monster. I think this is absolutely ridiculous for the archetype and is so amazing for it. Think about it, as soon as Lambda is summoned, you are prone to Cyframe Gear hand traps in your hand. You are never safe once this card is on the field and everything is clear. I think that is something that is very powerful with this archetype, your opponent can't really respond to your psi frames in hand, as in there is no good way of dealing with your psi frames in hand if you have Lambda on the field. If you think about it, this deck completely shifts as soon as it gets this card on the field, and this one card alone has completely changed how you play this archetype. From it being a very slow controlling deck that really doesn't do anything turn one, but you play cards like Card Card D in order to draw cards but also have no monsters on the field, I think this is a drastic shift as now you can just play whatever you want. Think about it, one really good variant for this art type is going to be a Mech Knight Psyframe deck. This way, you can use Purple Nightfall and banish it, and that will be a recurring resource, but then you will get another surge, and then during your end phase, if you already have Lambda on the field, Lambda will get you a surge for another Psyframe card. This could be a hand trap or whatever you want. I think one card that we'll see play in this art type from now on is Phantom Sky Blaster, because this deck doesn't really need its normal summon, unless you're playing another engine that does require it, but if you're just playing a pure your Mech Knight Psyframe deck, the Phantom Sky Blaster is really good because as you're putting your Mech Knights on the field, you can also get your Phantom Sky Blaster and put a ton of tokens on field. But regardless of that, your Phantom Sky Blaster is also a one card Psyframe Lord Lambda, which I think is highly underrated and that's just so powerful because of the fact that Phantom Sky Blaster can either be used as a one card Lambda or can be used for even greater link spam. While this deck can still be fragile at times, very easily prone to Kaiju back row removal on the field spell, and the fact that the deck still needs to see the field spell to do everything, I think overall this deck could most certainly be a very powerful archetype going into the post-Link Reigns Pack 2 meta in the OCG. Even though I'll have to compete with decks like Six Samurai, think about it, Cyframes are generically hand traps. You can play a lot of hand traps in this deck because Cyframes are generically hand traps. There's nothing stopping that from being a factor. I think Cyframe Lord Long Lambda will make this deck much, much better, and if it's not tier 1, I'm sure it will be a solid rogue deck going into the OCG metagame post-Link Reigns Pack 2, and I could definitely see this deck doing quite a lot in the TCG when this card comes out. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if the audio quality is weird. I'm not filming in my usual setup, so it will be like that for the rest of this week, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I'll see you guys soon.